What's up family, this is your friend Gaurav Mehta, how are you guys? As you can see from my eyes, I was not able to sleep properly last night. I got only around 4 hours of sleep and it was my mistake. I tried to sleep around 1am and I was not able to sleep till 3am. So I have to wake up today at 7am because I'm going to pick a very special person from Mr. I will show you guys the special person, he is very close to my heart. So I am ready going to pick him just want to give you guys the update and uh, right now I'm feeling weak tired and I just I just can't because for someone like me who gets around four eight hours of sleep at least every day four hours of sleep is very very less so we will make up for it after I will came from a I will sleep for four hours because only then I will be able to do today's workout Friend, is this friend? Yes, it's 1500 people. 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 Yes, it's तो फिर नेक्स्ट क्लास में हो गया नहीं तो फिर तू क्या बनेगा बड़ा ओके बड़ा ओके आपके जैसा मेरे जैसा बनेगा ये ऐसे ऐसे मैं गाड़ी कर दूँगा पीछे ये Thank you. Welcome. I'm going to go to the house. Well, no, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. That's all. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Punjabi people will say, Mere Bani. Punjabi people will say, Mere Bani. 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 Mere Gadi aunty. Aunty's car, right? Then. Aunty, aunty. Let's go. We'll take the car. Now, we'll stop. We'll do this. 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 We'll do <laughs> Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. What else can we do when we're feeling low? So take a deep breath and let it go. You shouldn't be drowning on your own. And if you
What's up, guys? This is your friend Goro Mehta back with commentary from the last three or four videos. I just uh, put in the raw workout, and you guys kind of liked it. But I was just going through my videos just today, and uh, I realized that uh, a few days ago I started a series which I forgot to finish, and uh, that mini series was in which I was. uh it is a, it was an informative series in which i was telling you about the things that you need to worry about nutrition training and things that you don't need to worry about nutrition training okay so the things that you need to worry and not worry about nutrition i told you that but i forgot to tell you about the things that you don't need to worry about nutrition training and the things that you need to worry about training so in this commentary i am going to tell you about the things that you need to worry about training oh that's tough okay so let's start things that you need to worry about training let's start with the first one so the first thing that you need to worry about training is progressive overload if any of you guys know a bit about new training then you probably know what progressive overload is if you don't know i'm going to tell you so what is progressive overload progressive overload means you have to progress every week you have to become better every week you have to lift uh not heavy i mean you have to get better you have to get stronger every week and this is the only way in which you will grow in which you will you have to force adaptations right uh, how can you progress you have you can progress through increasing repetitions increasing weight uh decreasing your rest periods increasing sets but, and there are a lot of other ways too but the most common is by increasing repetition or weight so how can you progress in by increasing repetition i will give you an example let's say that you are working around 6 to 8 repetition range so what you will do is on your first week uh, you will find a weight for which you can do for 6 repetitions and on sec uh, on second week you will do the same repetition of the same weight that you lifted in first week and on third week you will do the eight repetition of the same weight right we increase one repetitions every week then on the fourth week you will do six repetition by increasing the weight you will increase heavier than the weight that you did uh, on your first week and this is how you will progress you have to increase your rep uh, weight and uh, the other way is you can increase the weight every week but it is not possible to increase the weight every week on uh your workout so you can go with either way if you, you have to progress you have to become stronger every week and this is the main point right so the, then comes the second point what is the second point second one is you have to track your workout right uh from tracking my, your workout i mean you have to write the weight sets repetitions and everything that you did in your workout and even the rest periods that you took that amount of rest you took between sets you even have to write that how this will help you uh, what it will do is it will help you to progress the main point that is the first point without this point you will not be able to do what i just told you in my in the first point okay if you would have written everything that you did then only you will be able to progress if you will have written everything that you did in first week then only you will be able to lift uh one more uh, repetition or lift heavier or force adaptations in the second week so you have to write everything you have to write everything that you are doing and that is the only way you will be able to progress right and next now come the third point okay so third point is you have to get most of your volume from compound movements the main compound movements according to me are bench press deadlift squat right but there are other command movements too overhead shoulder press chin ups uh cable barbell rows and a lot of other ones command movements if you don't know are those movements in which you are you know all more than one muscles 
to do do that exercise the reason being that the reason why i'm telling you to include compound movements in your routine is that uh if you will have compound movements uh you will be able to progress easily than on isolation movements right i will give you an example it is easier to progress on bench press or flat bench press or incline bench press than it is to progress on dumbbell flies right you will be able to progress by increasing weight by 2 kg 4 kg but you will not get dumbbells of 12 kg 14 kg 16 kg that will help you to progress right you have to get most of your volume and the other benefit of compound movements is that they work more than one muscles at a time so you will be able to train every muscle more frequently and more gains right so these are the main points that are coming into my mind right now three main points that you need to focus so that's it i hope this video has helped you and i hope you also have enjoyed the workout i had i uh, combined two workout the workout i did today and the workout I did yesterday because i i knew that the commentary is going to be long that's why i hope you guys have enjoyed the video have you have enjoyed the content or the information that you i have provided you so that's it uh, thanks for the support take care bye bye and don't forget to subscribe love you all